when you're out there without care. Yeah, I was out of touch, but it wasn't because I didn't know enough. I just knew too much. Does that make me crazy? What's up, guys? Boy, Benny, all war is terrible, and I don't like war. I don't want American blood spilled in war, and if your country is at war, then good luck to you, but I'm not here to help you. Uh, I am strictly isolationist, and some of the most embarrassing times of my life was when I agitated for Iraq and Afghanistan, because I just didn't know any better. I was just too young and stupid. And now, having seen what can happen in war, it is absolutely atrocious to ever advocate for. I'm not a warmonger. However, given the fact that there are are two peoples at war right now, Israel and Gaza. Israel has declared war on Gaza and Hamas. Hamas has declared war on Israel. It's very interesting to see the tactics that are being used by both sides. So the footage coming out of Gaza has been absolutely fascinating and just remarkable. Some of the precision weaponry of Israel has just been stunning. Some of the close-up footage of like buildings like this you see here, in a heartbeat, this building just evaporates. Whoa. I mean, that's what's called a bunker buster. I, I think that's what it's called. I, I'm not a big time, like, I'm not a big time military tech guy. I'm just fascinated. I can just sit back and, like, be fascinated at some of the footage uh, along with you. Some of the most fascinating footage has been caught whilst live on camera here is a reporter that was doing a live report from gaza and had a little bit of a building knock right behind her into gaza do you know anything about that what can you report at this stage <laughs> all right yumna please take cover if you are in a position to do so safely, you can explain to us what we're happening. If you are not in a position to do so safely, yes. then please get to safety. No, it's okay. Um, this is a missile attack on, on Palestine Tower, right in the middle of Gaza City. Yumna, take a moment to breathe. Take a moment, you and your team. Take a moment to breathe, okay? Just take a moment as we are looking at this um, picture. We are hours into this war between Gaza and Israel, and we have just witnessed live what an Israeli air raid looks like on a populated area of Gaza City, uh, what we believe is a residential building. What you're looking at right now is a live shot of Gaza City. And after Hamas launched an attack uh, in and around the Israeli territory around the Gaza Strip, well, Israel retaliated by bombarding multiple targets in Gaza. Um, for those of you who've been watching us the last few minutes, uh, we're all a little bit shaken by what we've just seen, which was an air raid on a building just behind our correspondent, Yumna Asayed, as she was reporting. Now, we're getting our team to safety, and we are going to turn now to Nida Ibrahim, who's in Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Frankly, we're all still a little bit shaken. Boom! Right off the top. Now, that first knock, according to my reading, is to warn the residents inside the building that this sucker's coming down. You see the building doesn't actually go down. That's a warning sign, and everybody knows it. When the buildings do come down, though, it looks like this. One, two, three. See ya. Demolition, man. Fascinating. Look at how that building goes down, but the other buildings don't. Hmm. Curious little conspiracy theory there. So... It, pretty remarkable. This actually, this tweet got community noted saying that the building was used by Hamas for weapon storage and operational planning. Israel provided advance warning that the residents could evacuate before it was demolished. Now, there is something 
uh, that is really fascinating in this current war, which is the advanced warning that Israel gets via its Iron Dome. The Iron Dome is one of the most fascinating pieces of weaponry in the world. The Iron Dome is a radar-based missile detection system inside of Israel, and you can see it working in mass with a 90% plus success rating to intercept the rockets from Gaza that are being fired indiscriminately. They're, they're dumb rockets being fired indiscriminately by dumb people into Israel. And the footage wow, of this wow, is just wow. insane. Wow. Just insane. So, obviously, the flares in the sky are the rockets themselves being launched, and the explosions are the Iron Dome intercepting those rockets. Living in the future, baby. I mean, these. This is your. This is here's your space age. Uh, there was a Fox News report where a uh, Fox News journalist who does just great work named Trey Yingst was caught having these little during pieces a live of information shot trickle in with the Iron Dome the Israelis going knew off and above what they didn't know. Yeah, get down, everyone. Next to the car, lay down flat. Everyone down, flat, cover your head. Uh, more rocket fire now. Loud explosions coming off. Uh, another time they're, they're trying to overwhelm the Iron Dome again. I can see them coming off the Gaza Strip from multiple locations. Just pull. Uh, there you go. You can see it happening above, live on TV. Stay down, guys. Awesome. Stay down. So, crazy stuff. How does the Iron Dome work? On an Asian news site called CNA, they had a really beautiful little diagram. Check this out. We work. A radar unit detects incoming rockets within four to 70 kilometers. Up to 1,100 separate targets can be tracked. The system then relays information about the shell's speed and trajectory to the command and control center, which then calculates whether the rocket is going to hit inhabited areas. If affirmative, a rocket is fired from the launcher, which has 20 Tamir interceptor missiles. Each battery of the Iron Dome consists of three to four launchers. It's designed to defend an area of 150 square kilometers. A direct interception sounds like a loud bang and can sometimes be felt from the ground. Pretty awesome. And for, like, just an absolutely remarkable system, especially if you're dealing with dumb bombs here. Dumb people firing dumb bombs. This is what you get with Hamas. So this is Hamas. People are screaming and whining and mewling about Hamas doesn't have any water. Well, what does Hamas do with this water pipelines that were, were, by the way, paid for and provided by the European Union and the United States of America? Well, they have taken they they dig up the water pipelines and then turn them into rockets. They don't have any water. The water pipelines were pulled up from the ground by Hamas, and this is their own video. They're bragging about it, and then they use them to, f to fire rockets into Israel. So, there you go. Got it? Got it. So, I guess that's how both sides of the equations work. Again, fascinating to see. Don't like war, but I can, you can still sit in awe 
and watch the uh, space-aged wonders of modern military technology. The Iron Dome, truly incredible. Be safe out there, ladies and gentlemen. It's Roy Benny, hoping for a more peaceful world without communism. Like, share, and subscribe if you agree. See ya.